Hey guys, welcome to the third and final um, Aoshima FC RX7 unboxing video. Um, now, you may have been linked from video number two. Um, this is basically the same kit. However, um, I think the only main difference is you don't get the other uh, bonnet with the louvers in. Um, this is gonna be a real quickie. I'm not gonna literally unbox everything because you don't wanna see it a third time. I'm just gonna highlight what is different. Uh, yep, they're all the same. They're all the same. Clibbits, which should be in a packet, but um, I have took this part, uh, this kit out before. Uh, do, 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 do. Decals are the same. Um, I'm showing you those right now. And yeah, that is it. I mean, the only difference is uh, you still get the stock bumper, you can still build it completely stock. The wheels are exactly the same. However, um, you don't get the, I'll double check that you don't. Just before I say that and I'm wrong. No, you don't. You don't get the bonnet with the louvers in uh, because they come on a separate sprue. Um, you do get those um, side skirts. Come on, camera. Just too busy looking at those wheels. You do get those, which you don't have to fit, but then you've got the flip-up lights, normal mirrors, and bits like that. Um, you can st you can still build it either with flip-up lights or the built-in headlights with a glass cover. So yeah. That is it guys, nice and quick. Probably my quickest unboxing video. Um, uh, I'll put a link um, in the video from the start if you haven't seen the first or second one. Um, and like I said, once you've seen one, you've seen all three, so that's why I've not gone into too much depth on this one. Um, so yeah, it does show you, the, you just gotta be careful um, in terms of box art, what you actually want in terms of the kit. Um, as mentioned in the other videos, uh, sorry, the other video um, of the blue one, the aftermarket bumper doesn't, it fits well, but it doesn't look right, it doesn't flow right. Um, it fits perfectly, but it's sort of slightly out of proportion, which is a bit strange. Um, but like I said, it's an easy, easy thing to fix. You know, a little bit of sanding, a bit of putty, etc. You'll be able to fix it, no problem. But yeah, um, out of the three kits, um, I suppose I'll rank them for you. I'm going to probably rank the OEM one at the top purely because it's a lovely package. You can build it completely out of the box with the BBS wheels and it's a fantastic looking kit um, and you'll end up with a lovely looking car. Second, I'm going to go with the blue um, RE Animia RX7 kit and that's purely because you just get the extra parts in, that's all. Um, whether that was made after the red one or before, whatever, it's surprising that they didn't just do one kit with all of them, but never mind. Um, and then third, I mean, it's not like there's a major difference between first, second and third, but third's going to have to go for the red, purely because it's basically um, a normal kit with different wheels, but with... Um, one option for the interior as well, same as the blue one, whereas in the black one you get two, you can either have a two-seater or a four-seater. Um, yeah, I mean, you only get, you only get like, um, well, I think, I think the only things you do get are the headlights. That's it, the headlights, that is it, um, where you can build them, you know, in the car with the glass covers, so yeah. Congratulations to the OEM. OEM wins over aftermarket. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Um, give me your rankings from what you've seen. Um, tell me what you think. And yeah, thanks for taking a look, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share away if you like. And um, if you've got any criticisms or any ideas or anything I'm missing out, uh, please let me know. Um, I'm all for um, giving back to the hobby. Uh, any help that I can do, I will do. Um, 
if you've seen in the description about the how-to videos, I am I, well. I do want to get the unboxing videos finished first, and then I can sort of start doing a flocking um, tutorial. Which, funnily enough, I'm going to use the FC RX7 to do it, um, as it's an easy easy kit to do with the fact that it's got a separate door card. But yes. Thanks for taking a look guys and I'll see you in the next video. Keep an eye out. Bye bye.